what is going on guys it is bear and today bring you guys another tutorial and this is going to be how to create a physical sky kind of lighting as you can see right here it brings a really nice view for an isometric feel so before i get on this tutorial i'm gonna tell you guys right now i got a new mic so sorry if i either sound really quiet really loud or i just don't sound good at all i just got in the mail today so i'm just gonna kind of create a video for you guys just to test it as well and to show you guys how to do something new but it is the blue snowball mic it is the ultimate version the pro now the professional one it's something like that it's the chrome looking one so if you guys want me to do a little review on that i will be sure to do that so to get right into this tutorial you're just going to open cinema 4d and you can open any lightroom you want i'm going to be using my isometric lightroom but obviously i'm going to be creating the lights instead of just having them pre-made so what you want to do if you're just simply uh using a new document you want to go to view uh no excuse me you want to go to camera axometric and then click on isometric and then i'll bring it to this view so what i did just to show you guys what it looks like as i created a little square and then i put a little figure on top of that but uh you, you don't really have to do that and that's not necessary so to get right into it you're just going to click the little not click we're going to hold down the floor and then you're going to go to physical sky and physical sky is really what brings it out so now if i re-render it Obviously, obviously, you see how it's like all, all really nice colored. So if I take it away, it's really dark. So once you put that on, it's really endless what you can do with that. That really brings it up. So that's physical sky, and then this like gives you endless amount of like, I don't guess settings. So if you go to time and location, you can pick where time you want to be. So obviously in June. This is the summer, so the sun's be up higher. And then you just click around and then re-render it. And then see it makes it darker as in like it's getting oh yeah, it's getting darker. And then nighttime comes and I don't really like using nighttime because it doesn't really look the nicest. But seven o'clock, the sun's rising, and then just say twelve when the sun's the highest in the sky. That's what really looks nice. So that's that. That's the time and location you can use. There's also sky, and you can mess with the physical sky, which is the, where the sun's up in the air, or the horizon line, which would be on the ground. Color warmth, intensity, uh, night intensity ratio, saturation correction, hue correction, all of this stuff you can use and mess with yourself. I personally don't want to do that that much, but uh, it's really up to you. And then for sun, you can change your color of the sun that you want to use, so you can make it a darker kind of orange Let's see if that does anything nope didn't do anything but uh you can make anything really you can change the colors of stuff you can change the intensity all the corrections the gamma blah, blah 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 so it's basically a lot of stuff in this little setting and uh you can show the moon at night and stars but uh once you want to like once you use that you can't be in the isometric view you have to be in a regular view so just to show you guys that this does a lot more than just to say infinite light. We'll just take out the physical sky and leave the light. So the infinite light doesn't really do anything. It kind of creates a cool little, uh, I would say like a little kind of scary horror looking feel thing. Not to sound like a bitch. That's not that scary, but you know. And then sunlight. I changed that. Actually put that up. In, okay. Nope. And then sunlight. So you can tell that physical sky is really what I think, honestly, is the best. And then you have just your sky itself. So your physical sky is definitely where to go. So this is pretty much just a basic little isometric lighting tutorial slash low poly. But um, if you guys like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any tutorial suggestions, hit me up on Skype or just at me on Twitter. My Twitter is obviously in the video. It's in like the bottom bar right there, right here. So uh, that's about it. So if you guys want a review on the Snowball mic, just please let me know, and I'll bring that out to you guys probably in a couple days. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you guys for 2,100 subscribers. I'm having something planned for 2,500. So see you then. Peace out.